the big thing about politics is really, it's it, behind the shifting is gonna be generational change. And this is an inexorable thing. It's like, like I say, once you're born, you know exactly when those people are gonna be 80 and you know whatever, all where they're gonna be in their life cycle. So this is, and this is a really kind of crazy, uh, this is the United States population by generation, basically now, roughly, it's 2020. And that, in between those shaded places, is the gutsy economy. This is what people, voters, this is workers, these are the consumers. That's where the game's played right now. And already, the world defined by the baby boomers are literally retiring, but also are literally dying off, right? Um, and meanwhile, all the millennials are basically fully engaged now. So whatever the millennials think are gonna is really matters more now than what the boomers think, and that's just gonna continue. So if you go another decade out to 2030, not only do you got the millennials there, you got the Gen Z there. Now Gen Z and millennials are very similar in their attitudes towards many kind of issues, Black Lives Matter, and all kinds of stuff that are going on that they're aligned on these things. And, and the boomers, like I say, by that time, will all be retired. And Gen X is a smaller generation. I know there's probably a lot of Gen Xers here. Sorry, it's just you're between the two giant things. And don't impact, can't impact where it's going. Anyhow, this is coming in 2030. And ultimately, uh, this is 2040, just to go through fast. It just keeps playing. We don't know what's coming behind. But, and, you know, who knows? It'll be the kids of the, of the Gen Zers and stuff. So who knows at this point in 2050? But that's driving culture, that's driving politics, that's driving consumers, that's driving your workers, that is the game.